Tire Care's six-wheel tire pressure monitoring system is a system that monitors your vehicle's tire pressure in real time. Six tire pressure sensors send readings to a monitor in your vehicle so that you can keep an eye on your tire pressure while driving. The system is there to detect abnormal tire pressure, prevent tire blowouts, and prolong tire life. The system consists of six pressure sensors fitted to the tires of your vehicles and trailer or caravan, four internal sensors fitted inside the rim of your vehicle's tires, and two external sensors for flexible use on a trailer or caravan as needed. The sensors wirelessly transmit the tire pressure in real time to a solar powered monitor in your vehicle. In the case of a slow or fast deflation, the monitor will set off an alarm. These alarms are set to go off if the tire pressure goes under the set low pressure mark or above the set high pressure mark. To install the system in your vehicle, use the provided bracket and double sided stickers to mount the wireless, solar powered monitor on your windshield. Switch the monitor on by sliding the power button on the upper right of the unit upwards. Install the six pressure sensors on the tires. Number one and two on the front tires, number three and four on the rear tires, and number five and six on your trailer or caravan. The four internal sensors can be fitted inside your tire by your tire dealer. For the external trailer sensors, screw the nut on the valve and then the sensor. Lock the sensor with a lock nut. The position of each sensor will be indicated on the monitor with the far left and right, numbers 5 and 6, indicating the sensors on your trailer or caravan tires. It is important to note that if one or more of the tire pressures are not indicated on the monitor, the wheels need to move. The tire pressure will be displayed after 5 to 10 minutes driving. The unit comes preset for standard warning alerts, but you can use the leftmost button on the monitor to adjust all settings. Press and hold this button until the words bar PSI flash on the screen. Using the plus or minus buttons, go through the settings menu until you get to the option you want to change. The first option is the pressure unit setting, used for changing the monitor's measuring unit between bar and PSI. If you press the plus button, the next option displayed is the temperature unit setting, where you can choose between degrees centigrade or degrees Fahrenheit. If you press the plus button again, the high pressure setting for the front tires will be displayed. Here you can set the tire pressure that will sound the unit's high pressure alarm. If you press the plus button again, the low pressure setting for the front tires will be displayed. Here you can set the tire pressure that will sound the unit's low pressure alarm. If you press the plus button again, the high pressure setting for the two rear tires of the vehicle and two trailer tires will be displayed. Here you can set the tire pressure that will sound the unit's high pressure alarm. If you press the plus button again, the low pressure setting for the two rear tires of the vehicle and two trailer tires will be displayed. Here you can set the tire pressure that will sound the unit's low pressure alarm. If you press the plus button again, the high temperature setting will be displayed. Here you can set the temperature that will sound the unit's alarm. The setting applies to all tires. If you press the plus button one more time, you will reach the tire exchange setting. This can be useful after wheel rotations with internal tire sensors. A full explanation will be given later in this video. Pressing the plus button one more time will get you back to the first setting menu, indicated by bar and PSI displayed on the screen. If you want to change something, in this example the low pressure warning level, navigate to the setting and press the settings button once. The option will start to flash. Changes can then be made using the plus or minus buttons. When the necessary changes have been made, press the settings button once to accept and save changes. When you are done changing settings, hold down the settings button until the home screen appears. The tire pressures might not be displayed immediately. In this case, you have to drive the vehicle to activate the sensors. When rotating the tires, you will have to swap the tire positions on the tire pressure monitoring system for internal sensors. External sensors can just be screwed onto the corresponding wheel. After rotating the wheels, hold down the settings button until the screen displays bar BSI. Press the minus button once and the wheel positions labeled from 1 to 6 will be displayed. Press the settings button once and wheel 1 will start to flash. Use plus or minus to select the wheel to swap, press the settings button and then use plus or minus to select the wheel's new position. Press the settings button to confirm. Repeat until all tires are indicated in the correct position. Now press and hold the set button to return to the home screen. To switch the system between four wheel and six wheel mode, 
press and hold the settings and minus buttons simultaneously. Now use the plus or minus buttons to switch between 4 wheel and 6 wheel mode. Press and hold the settings and minus button together to save the selected mode. When one or more of the sensors need to be replaced, the new sensors will have to be registered and matched to the monitor of the tire pressure monitoring system. To match a new sensor onto the monitor, hold down the back button until the screen displays the front left tire flashing. Using the plus or minus buttons, select the relevant sensor to be matched. For internal sensors, inflate or deflate the selected tire slightly until the monitor makes one beep. For external sensors, simply screw the sensor onto the valve and the monitor will make one beep. When finished with the registration, press and hold the settings button to return to the home screen. The tire pressure monitor system sensors send information to the monitor and the monitor will display the pressures last sent through. The sensors and monitor automatically enter sleep mode when the vehicle isn't in use for longer than 5 minutes and until the wheels move again, the last received pressures will be displayed. Batteries can be replaced on both external and internal sensors and sensors can be bought separately. If the monitor is dead or on low battery, use the provided USB cable to connect to an electrical power source to charge. Included in the box is the monitor, mounting bracket, four internal sensors, four valves, two external sensors, screws, lock nuts, spanners, USB power cord, and instructional booklets. Get everything you need from Tire Care.